Hello my YouTube friends! Using a voice changer is a great way to add some fun to your live stream. Today I'm going to show you how to configure a voice changer for your live streams. And this is a voice changer you can use for free. So let's get to it! If you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. The voice changer I'm going to use is called Voice Mod, and it's probably the most popular voice changing option. It's free to use, but there are limitations on the free version, as you're going to see. Let me show you how it works. The links are in the description so you can download it and follow along with me. So to start out, we're going to begin on this page here and we're going to go to get voice mod free and you can sign up with whatever account you're using. I use Google. It's pretty simple. You just select the account you want to use and we're all set. It automatically pops this up down at the bottom and starts to download your voice mod file. And I'm just going to double click on that to do the install. And you basically click next through here and you have to accept the agreement and next this is the install directory this is the standard i just click next and it asks you about your shortcuts whether you want to put them on there I just click next and then install and once it finishes installing you can just click this finish and if you have that box checked it'll automatically launch it for you and it seems to take an unbelievably inordinate amount of time to set up the first time you use it. It does not take this long after you've used this once or twice, but the first time you use it, it seems to go through this little display sequence where it's setting everything up. And once it's up and running, you have to log in with your same account that you used before. So I'm gonna click the continue with Google once again, and it just comes to this screen. I can flip back into the app and here we go. Now we're in pops up this little message and you can click on it and find out a little more information on each piece or you can just click let's go and here it's going to pop up so you can select your microphone and headphones you're going to be using to hear the output. Now it's important to note that the headphone aspect of it is something that's going to work independent of OBS. So if you have it set up to use your headphones you are going to be able to hear those even if you don't have it monitored output in OBS. So in settings at the top, you have your input, and here's where you can set your microphone and adjust the volume on that microphone to make sure that you're hearing what you wanna hear. Down below that, we have the output, and you can select how you wanna hear the actual voice. In this case, I selected the headphones that I use so I can hear the output. Down under advanced audio settings, you can eliminate popping, and there is a mic exclusive mode, which can help with some potential lag or cutting out issues. Up at the top here, if we switch to general, we can start this with Windows. And I uncheck that because I don't want this starting when I start Windows. I want to start it when I want to start it. And also minimize to the system tray when closing. I don't want to do that either. I don't want to accidentally have this running in the background when I don't want it. If I close it, I want it closed. You can change your language. And of course, there's random source here. So if I wanted to use a keybind for a random voice, I can just put that keybind in here and it would just select one one of the voices that I actually have loaded in. In this case, one of the free voices. Then if I go up to the top here and I select Keybind, you can see this gives me options to change the key binding to turn Voice Changer on and off really easily. You can also put a key bind so that you can hear yourself or not hear yourself. And all of these options in the settings are pretty self-explanatory, make it really easy to set up voice mod. So now you can see we have voice mod set up. There's a bunch of voices here, but we need to set it up so it will work in OBS. You can see I have my regular microphone installed on here and I'm just going to mute that. And we're going to add an audio input capture. And I'm just going to call this one voice mod and click OK. And I'm going to drop down the device and I'm going to select microphone voice mod virtual audio device right here. And this will allow us to receive the voices into OBS. Now I can go into voice mod and I can select any one of these voices and you can see down in OBS voice mod is working. It is hearing it. Now I'm going to click here for myself so that we can actually hear it right here in the video as well. If I click on this volume, I can adjust the voice changer volume and reduce the background noise and all that kind of stuff. I can adjust the audio levels on the soundboard and everything else. And when I select clean, you can obviously see that it just has my regular voice. Here's the baby voice. Hello, this is a nifty baby voice. Here's the cave voice. Here is the 
Hey, boys. Let's try magical chords. Magical chords. Ooh. Wow. That's pretty cool. And the Santa voice. Oh, and it comes with music. Now for any of these voice effects that have background music or something like that, you can adjust the background music by just turning down the background effects. So we only get the voice. That's kind of fun. Now, you can see that there is a delay. When I talk, you're not hearing it exactly when I talk. And that's the nature of any voice mod application they use. It's just kind of the way it works. Now when I listened to this back after I recorded it, I noticed that there really isn't any delay from what I'm seeing on the screen and the actual voice. So maybe there's not as much of a delay as I thought there was. There just seems to be more of a delay in your headphones, which is pretty distracting. Now down here where it says all voices, these are ones that you can access when you have the pro plan. And if I click here, you can see what that costs. And there are lots and lots and lots of voices that you can have as standard with the pro plan. And then you can also create your own voices, which is a really cool part of the pro plan. There is also this soundboard feature and you can add your own sounds or use ones that are already loaded, like the gong. Use sound effects too. Or the nuke alert. To add one, you just click the plus and you go to it and find it. And then there's the selfie. Pretty cool. And again on holiday tunes, I can turn down the background music by adjusting background effects. The same with Elf. And of course the same with AI DJ. Oh boy. And at any point in time, you can just click clean and you'll get your regular clean voice. Your voice right here with a little bit of delay still. So what I would probably do is I would just mute this and turn your regular microphone on. That way you don't have a delay. And then when you want a voice mod, you just go back to that. Now the one drawback to voice mod is you pretty much get what you see here in the today's free voices. You can't create your own voice without going pro. And you can't use all of these ones down here without going pro. Once you set all this up though, you can add a key bind, which means that you can select a key that will change between all the voices and make it pretty easy to do. You can use a loop deck or something like that. Just about anything you want to change the voices during your broadcast. But of course, if you're not having the pro version, these are obviously going to change every 24 to 48 hours or 23 hours, I guess it looks like here. These voices will change and you'll have to have other voices. So if there's one you want to use all the time on a regular basis, well, it just may not be one of the free ones that you get today. The slight voice delay is part of the audio processing and it's unfortunately totally unavoidable, but you can delay the video in OBS features to fix it if the issue really bothers you. For me, I only use this as just kind of fun, so I don't really worry about it all that much. What do you use a voice changer for? Let me know in the comments. Now, Voice Mod does not currently have a version that works on Mac, but there is an option for you. If you check this video out, you can learn more. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.